M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one here, looking at the first time setup, downloading the app. As part of the initial setup, one must download the latest version of the RFinder software. So go to settings, connect to your Wi-Fi, return to the home screen, open your preferred browser and type in install.rfinder.net and click enter. Go to file manager and click the APK. Number seven, install. Number eight, click open. Look down here, you've got some screenshots as well telling you exactly what to do. Just here and here. So follow, read this again, look at these photographs, then scroll down and there is a registration process. And registration and login I've noticed are the same thing. Obviously you have to pay the first time, but it's a bargain at 12, 13 pound a year. And it will actually, the, the app will run on iOS and Android, but obviously not our finder, the radio app but the the app for the information on repeaters so that's it there's some more here cellular settings if if dmroip audio sounds slow you've got some more settings there before you use your radio using a cellular provider you must go to settings network and internet settings click on mobile network scroll down and click on access point names select your carrier scroll down and select apm pro protocol Select IPv4, click the three dots in the upper right hand side and click save. Note, some cellular companies may not allow these settings to be adjusted, such as AT and T, where some companies like T-Mobile are. But I do, I have heard from someone that there could be a workaround on the AT and T, but don't hold me to that. Now, again, read these instructions, look at these screenshots, and it should help you set up your R-Finder. Thanks for watching my channel, 7-3, all the best.